Hey everybody, Dave here again. I want to talk to you about date, date time, and time functions in this video. And it's very simple, so this should be a very, very short video. All right, couple of nuance, one nuance to be at least no, uh, well, one nuance, and then one thing that I want to tell you up, which will set you up for the next video. All right, so the first thing that we're looking at here is the date, okay? So it's literally just like putting a date in, except uh, you feed it in parameter-wise, three separate parameters. So let's just do the date function. Let's look at IntelliSense. It wants the year, so we put in 2024, that's the current date. And then the month, let's just do 02, and then today's the 28th day, which is the current time or current date rather and whoops needs a comma and this is the function in and of itself so you could uh, now the output of this is in fact a data type number and if we look at the whole piece of it in other words what it produces what its output notice I've had to put my cursor all the way to the end the data type changes so the value that it produces let me rephrase. The value that the date function gives you is a literal data type of date. The pieces, the parameter is a number. This parameter is a number. This parameter is a number. So if I try to feed it in text, 2024 text, it still accepts the parameter, but the output is a date. Now, why is this important? The reason for this is, or the benefit of this is, I can take and reference other data in other fields to create this. So for example, let's just put in another label and let's do a border so that we clearly understand what's going on here. Copy V, copy V, and we'll just put in the text 2024 and let's change this to LBL year zero 03 for the text LBL month and then the day uh, what's the day I don't know we'll use today's date 28 and let's change this to LBL day. Okay, so let's look at the context of this date formula. Let's just clear this out. LBL, I need the year. I need the month, LBL month, LBL day. We'll close up the function. It's yelling at me because it wants the text value. So dot text here, dot text here, dot text here. And I fed it a bunch of text values from these labels. And it's still producing, its output is still producing a date. So that is very helpful and good to understand because you could use this in multiple use cases of ways, but I wanted you to understand that the date function accepts both numerical and text values, and you can type it directly in, or you can refer it to other data, other fields, other whatever, to get this output. All right, let's move on. Let's look at this time function, okay? I, I'm The way I labeled the video, it's date, date, time, and time functions. If you look at the documentation, it's also the same, so I try to keep the you know the information the same but I want to address something for you in the time so notice that I have time is 130 and a bunch of numbers let's just clear this out so we can do this together so we'll do time it wants an hour we'll do one minute 30 seconds zero zero if I hit comma again it's kind of optional but you can do the milliseconds okay so look at what I've got here 1.30 a.m. Okay, but what happened if I wanted p.m.? How do I switch it to p.m.? Well, you're going to have to use military time. So if we go all the way to 12 o'clock noon, that would be 12. 
and then I need to go one more hour, so it's 13. So 13 is, you have to put the military time in, but the display of this is going to be in a 12-hour a.m. p.m. interval. So just be aware of that, be cognizant of that. Now, I've used that over here again because date time is simply combining date and time into one function, and it just takes a bunch of stuff. But again, if you intended for... Uh, p.m. as opposed to a.m. you need to make sure you're using military time now you may be thinking hey what's gonna happen or how do I go ahead and convert explicitly convert a text date into a date function well that's that's coming up for the next video where we're gonna use something called date value time value and anyway I'm getting ahead of myself but that's in the next video that's that's coming okay so we'll see you in the next video thanks everybody bye bye <laughs>